If you find yourself not finishing a climb because you're just too tired to hold on, then you may benefit from some endurance training. And today we're gonna go through the three most popular ways to train for endurance in rock climbing. One being ARC training or arc training, two four by fours and three lattice board. ARC training, arc training, stands for aerobic respiratory and capillarity training. The aim of this training is to build more tiny little blood vessels in your arms so you're less likely to get pumped and therefore able to climb longer. It's based on climbing for a long period of time on a relatively easy terrain. So you should be able to climb for 15 to 45 minutes of traversing. And for most people, traversing for five minutes is going to be difficult if you don't have endurance training to get started. So it's okay if you're training and your first time you do it, you are less than five minutes. Just spend as much time on the wall as possible. Take a break, you know, feel not completely recovered, but somewhat recovered and then get back on the wall. When I was doing this training for the video, I found it actually really difficult to find a section in the gym that had enough space for me to traverse for a long period of time because sometimes climbing gyms can be busy. There are often boards at climbing gyms that aren't used very often, they're for training, and they are usually at like a 45 degree angle. These are great if you can handle being on that angle of a wall for 15 minutes total or 45 minutes if you're really strong, but it's more likely you'll need to find more upright routes. So just try and find an area where you can climb around. You can climb up, down, around, circular, whatever you need to do to stay on the wall as long as possible. Next on the list is four x four drills. And you may recognize four x four drills from a previous video I've made, but for everyone that doesn't know already, I will walk you through what it is. You find four routes that are well below your red point. Red point is the grade that you can climb without falling. Sometimes it takes more than one try to get to that point. So if you're climbing a V4, you might be looking at V1s and V2s. And you're going to climb each route without a break in between. Once you finish all four routes, you're going to take a five minute break and then you'll repeat this process four times. So it's kind of like circuit training. The thing with these is by the end of the four by four, you should be exhausted and it should be really difficult to finish that last route. So if you get to the end and you feel like you have an excess of energy, next time you do the four by four drill, level up the climb so it's a little bit more difficult. And that doesn't necessarily mean you increase the grade of difficulty. It could also mean increase the grade of difficulty when it comes to the angle of the wall. So keep that in mind when you are choosing your routes. One of the biggest gripes that climbers have when it comes to the four by four is that people get sloppy with their technique when they're climbing and they end up just throwing limbs around. And if you do this frequently enough, you may train your brain or untrain it to do poor technique. Before we move on to the next training, I wanted to invite you to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and find it helpful. And also leave in the comments below, what is your biggest struggle with climbing right now? The next training that I'm gonna go through for this video is lattice board training. And most climbing gyms have a lattice board. This is what they look like. And the nice thing about lattice boards is there's an accompanying app called Crimped. And you can actually go into this app and find endurance exercises in the app. And for this video, I selected one of the lattice board trainings. It walks you through exactly what you need to do, how long you should be on the board, and then also how long you need to take a break for between each round. So in this case, I just selected endurance and it's having you do a lap on the lattice board. If you don't know what a lap is on a lattice board, let me know and maybe I'll make a video about that. Otherwise, there are some videos on YouTube that I referenced when I first was trained on how to use the lattice board. Also, one thing to note that I love about the lattice board is you can use it as a benchmark for your endurance. So if you know that you want to train on endurance and you're not sure if you're actually making improvements, this is a great way to make that benchmark. Mark the angle that the board is at, because keep in mind, something at 90 degrees is going to be a lot easier to climb than something at 45 degrees. So mark what angle it's at and then do a lap and see how many laps you can do. If you can't do a full lap, mark what number you got to. Did you get your hand up to eight? or did you get your hand up to 11, then mark where you got on your laps. 
after a month of doing endurance training once or twice a week, redo this test and see how much did you improve with your endurance. And if you improved a lot, great, keep up what you're doing. If you didn't improve as much as you wanted, consider what you did, what drills you did, and consider doing more or harder routes for those drills.